Hello again, Michael Friedrich here from beautiful North Carolina and this time with a midweek shave because there will be no shave video on Sunday because of the Thanksgiving weekend. So I'm going to take the opportunity today to use something I've talked about in the past and that is going to be the first use ever of the Friedberg Franken soap. For those of you who like how I roll my R's, I'll say that again, Franken soap. So this is a combination of 10 different soaps, which I'll read off in just a moment. It is a very soft, tacky texture. I'll talk about the scent in just a moment. Um, I'll, read off the, uh, I'll read off the soaps that are included, and one or two that I skipped, and you'll see why. It is a combination of the Sudsy Soapery White Sage and Lime, the Mickey Lee Soapworks The Drunken Goat, the Artisan Soap Shop Lime Mint, Oleo Soapworks Pucker, Abati La Mantilla Don Jose, Cooper and French's Fair Isle Harbor, Jeeves of Hudson Street Tobacco Bay Leaf, Grunliga Mr. Charming, Skullbusters Kumbaya, I skipped the uh, Fine L'Orage Noir because that was a hard soap, and then the final one for the first combination of 10 is the Extra Dandy. So this is the first half. I'll do this again with the next 10 soaps and we'll see how it goes. So here it is. As you can see, I would not describe this as a appetizing color. It is a color, but not an appetizing color. The black flecks in there are from the Grunlika Mr. Charming, which is a very black, very dark colored soap, black soap. And so when I mixed it in, it doesn't really completely mix with the other soaps in there. So you can still see the specks. I've never used this. It's never been lathered. It's just been sitting in an old, uh, an old soap container. So what I'm going to do now is wet my face again. I'm going to get the brush going. We'll start lathering it. Today's razor is just the same razor I used last time, which is the Black Mumble with the same um, Rapier Platinum Luxe blade in there. This will be the fifth shave on that blade. And we'll see how it goes. I have tremendously high hopes for this soap combination because after all, all of those were good soaps. Uh, some better than others. Obviously, I, for example, the, the Extra Dandy was not for me, but obviously that formula has been changed over time, so newer ones apparently are much better. The one I have is not that great. But this could be the soap to end all soaps until I add the next 10, and then that will be the soap to end all soaps. So let's just go and see what we get here. Today's brush is going to be, of course, the Rodneep, the Ligna Vitae Bore. Let's just see what we got here. I'm just gonna wet it through a little bit. It's been soaking for a few minutes. Shake out most of the water. Well, here we go. Let's see what happens. I hope you are as excited as I am. Lord only knows what's gonna happen. Well, it's lathering as expected. I just don't know what it's gonna feel like. This scent, by the way, is a uh, is oddly perfumey. Like there's a very I don't know, it's just, it smells lightly of perfume. It, it is not what I would describe as a uh, pleasant or attractive scent. I don't think this will be a big seller, um, but who knows? Performance could be amazing. And then I could just work on the, you know, work on the scent profile. All right, let's see what happens here. I may have to load more. No idea. Literally never been used. Are you kidding me? That didn't even take three seconds. Well, it is certainly lathering very quickly. This, of course, is a mix of a variety of tallow-based and vegan-based soaps. Well, so far, so good. I've clearly loaded too much soap. This is still thick and pasty. So let's go and add a bit of water. This is only just over a day's worth of growth. I did shave on Tuesday morning, obviously. I would not dare show my face in the office unshaven. Well, mmm, that looks pretty good. Ugh, let's not get that out of my mouth. Oh, 
a bit more water and just paint it in well I would have to say that lather looks pretty good feels pretty good in the face too let's see what we get when we start shaving that'll be the true test of this V1 V1.10 Friedberg Franken soap all right Black Mamba, same razor I used a few days ago, same blade. So this will be the fifth shave on this rip here. We'll see how it goes. Remarkably slick. Protection for days. This is the kind of cushion that soap makers strive to achieve, and here I have done it all by myself. All joking aside, this is actually pretty slick. Um, it can definitely use a bit more water. But so far, no issues with the shave. Just goes to show, don't throw out those little samples. You know, the reason that I did this is because, of course, every week I'll scoop out some from the container that I'm using, I'll put it in the uh, in the loading bowl, and then I have a tub of soap that's never been lathered in, so if I do in fact pass that tub on or I'm scooping samples out of it, there's never any concern about the fact that it's been wet, for example. In this case, this will be kept entirely inside the Friedberg domain, so there's no issue with, you know, lathering inside the container directly. I mean, so far so good. A little bit of extra water, I think. Wow. Okay, that's definitely pretty slick. All right, let's do round number two. I'm just adding a bit of water to the brush, just dripping it on there, just a little bit. I think that first leather could have definitely taken just a touch more water. The scent is still really not that pleasant. Really, you know, I didn't expect it to smell good. It smells like a weird mix of a bunch of different scents. It does not smell like any one particular thing. All right. It's funny, I don't normally shave after a big mug of coffee. That may have been what's known as a tactical error. Okay, pass number two. So far that uh, five day old blade is doing just fine. Let's see what happens in pass number two. Slickness is really pretty good. All right, next side. Not really feeling any kind of tugging, tugging or you know, hesitation. Still pretty smooth. Yeah, that cup of coffee was a big mistake.
All right. Really all I'm doing there is just under the chin because that hair is in fact getting seems like a little denser and harder is just slightly changing up the angle as you go over it. So come at it from two slightly different directions in the uh, in the across the grain. Almost done with pass number two. So far, pretty impressed actually. This is really a uh, really nice soap actually. And by soap, of course, I mean the 10 soaps that I've combined. All right, here we go. Rinse off pass number three, the last pass. Mm. Very nice residual slickness, in fact. All right, let's see if I have to load more, but that, of course, will take just a moment. Oh, water dripping down my arm. Ugh. Mm. Yeah, really nice, good, creamy texture to the soap. Nice density to it. Feels really kind of, um, feels really rich. Just, I'm gonna dip the tips for a moment and just load a tiny bit more. And then add a bit more water and see what we get. Mmm. Yeah, actually quite a lovely texture. Color, unappetizing. Scent, really um, not so hot. Performance so far, very, very good. All right, pass number three. Against the grain. Bit of drag right there. That blade is starting to get a little tuggy. Right here is where it's gonna come out. Yeah, I mean, you have to sort of work too hard to get the blade to really do its job, you know, then you're sort of pushing it now. I imagine you could just keep shaving on this, but. Still pretty raspy.
yeah, and that just feels like it's uh, really starting to lose it a little bit. For me, it's always in the against the grain pass where I feel like, okay, that's where you can really tell that that blade is just not hanging in there. And it's not even so much that it's not sharp, it's that it sort of becomes uncomfortable. Like it's just not cutting cleanly. All right, let's see how we've done. Yep, just a touch under there. Let's see about this residual slickness. And I feel like in moments like that where you're doing a quick touch up and the blade is a bit dull. That's where you sort of run, I think. Biggest risk of cutting yourself. There we go. Yeah, nice, very, very nice shave. Easy and quick. All right, let's rinse off. This is gonna take a moment because this soap is in fact, wow, hard to rinse. Very, very kind of fatty and uh, well, really not surprising. And I'm glad so many of you, by the way, were able to, uh, to try out these very advanced rinsing techniques, which of course I'm happy to share with the world at large. Okay, let's try to get some of that off and then towel off and see how we did. Not bad for a quick and dirty midweek shave. Post shave, mm, pretty good. Yeah, I gotta say, that's really not bad. Still a slight residual, a uh, bit of a fatty, not waxy, but a bit of a fatty layer, which is nice. Okay, well, let's go ahead and apply some aftershave. I used this yesterday, just sort of on a whim because it's sitting there a bit unused on the shelf. You don't have to pair this with the matching soap. Of course, it's a nice combo, but you can, of course, bust this out at any time. I put this on yesterday and I sort of, you know, smiled to myself remembering, oh, that's right. I love this stuff. This is the Barrister and Man night music. Um, I realize that for many of you, this has a bit of an, a, an unpleasant, immediate tone or scent to it. I think the scent is fantastic. Deep. It changes from the initial application. Mmm, a bit of a stinky musk, and then it settles down into a, just a great combination. Slightly musky, slightly sweet, a little bit dense, not, not like an overly nasal, perfumey kind of scent. Mmm, and I just like the way the aftershave works. Ah, <sighs> well, that was a... Beautiful trial run. Let's go ahead and just run through what we've used today. A one-of-a-kind soap that literally nobody else has in the world. Friedberg V1.10 Franken soap. I'll read, the, I'll read them off again in just a moment. Soft, tacky texture. These soaps have all mixed together quite easily. The soap is quite soft still. You can see flecks of the Grunica Mr. Charming in there. It's the first 10. 
lathered easily, very, very good slickness, very nice face feel, good protection, nice cushion, a wonderful mix of all those soaps. The color, distinctly unattractive. The scent, nothing special at all. In fact, maybe a little bit on the not so good side. Let me just remind you of what soaps are in here and I'll just run through them real quick. Sutsi Soapery, White Sage and Lime, Mickey Lee Drunken Goat, Artisan Soap Shop, Lime Mint, Olio Soapworks Pucker, Abati La Mantilla Don Jose, Cooper and French Fair Isle Harbor, Jeeves of Huffin Street, Hudson Street, Tobacco Bay Leaf, Grunlika Mr. Charming, number nine, Skull Busters Kumbaya, and number 10, Extro Dandy. So you can imagine you put all those together, you shouldn't expect it to smell good, you should expect it to smell kind of weird, and it does smell, in fact, a little weird. But performance, very, very good across the board. Yep, yeah, nice. Mm. Oh, and that aftershave just smells, oh, just what an interesting, interesting scent. Just not your standard, usual aftershave, just so good. Let me just show you the bottle again. For that, if I can find the cap. That is the Barrister and Man Night Music, which I do recommend. I understand why some of you don't like this scent. For those of you that do, good on you. I think it's brilliant as well. Love it. Excellent aftershave. Today's razor and blade on its final run. This is the Razor Rock Black Mamba. This is the version that comes with the Uber Guide clothing, coating and the Icon Bamboo um, style handle, which I believe is also coated in the same material. For Pure Platinum Lux on its fifth and I think probably final shave. And of course, let's not forget the brush, the Rodney Lignum Vitae Boar Brush. Perfect match for that uh, for that soap. Well, I'm gonna call it quits right there, guys. Try to keep this relatively short if we can. I wanna say thank you again so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. If you are celebrating Thanksgiving, I will not be producing a video on this Sunday. I will return the week after with another set of new products, probably just a new soap for review but maybe one additional product as well. We'll just see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoy the comments and questions. Please keep those coming. Of course, you can post them against this video or any previous video. And again, until next time, goodbye.